What's up, y'all? This is your boy Jack back again with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Acer Aspire 5. And just like my other reviews, I'm going to go over the specs first and then give you my thoughts. And then I'll get you guys up out of here. So without further ado, it's a 15.6 uh, Full HD 1080p IPS 60 hertz display. It has an AMD Ryzen 3 3200U uh, utilizing the 12 nanometer process, two cores, four threads running at 3.2 gigahertz. It has a Vega 3 integrated GPU. Uh, has a 128 gigabyte solid state hard drive. It's pretty quick. It boots into Windows in less than 13.5 seconds. So again, at this price point, that's really, really, really good. It has four gigabytes of DDR4 2666, 1333 megahertz single channel memory. And it comes with Windows 10 S, but you can upgrade it to Windows 10 Home for free. And it also has a backlit keyboard. I got mine's on Amazon for $349. I'll leave the link to the unboxing in the description. Uh, for my recommendation, yes, I would definitely recommend this laptop. Uh, this laptop is for a student or someone that just does like light web browsing, media playback, and things like that. As far as the processor and the GPU are concerned, they're not going to be very, very powerful, but they'll plow through any daily tasks, web browsing, uh, light gaming, and, and I do mean light. Uh, you're not going to get on here and play no Tomb Raider or, or Fortnite or anything like that. However, there is an option. If you don't have a console, Maybe there's a few things that you guys could probably look into with this laptop and other laptops that are kind of around this uh, price range. Uh, the first one that comes to point, and as you can see on my screen, uh, would be Google Stadia. They also have the xCloud, and I believe that's uh, Microsoft, and they also have PlayStation Now. And they all are a cloud-based service that runs directly through the browser via their servers so basically if you have a decent internet connection i would recommend anything above 30 megabytes and you can be off to the races and it works actually really really well so if you were to load a game like this game i'm getting ready to show you guys uh and here locally it wouldn't even run but since everything is through the browser the technology is getting better uh i I still don't know about recommending Google Stadia. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, taking a look at. Uh, I would definitely do that, do the trial. I wouldn't buy the controller if you have controllers laying around or you can go to GameStop or whatever and get you a used controller, a used PlayStation controller. That's what I'm using here. This is the one that I use for my regular PlayStation, but you know, you can uh, download the DS4 software and so you can utilize it with a laptop like this, but I just want to give you guys, I just want to show you guys what this uh, laptop is capable of. And again, it's not utilizing the, the GPU or the CPU. Everything's done through the cloud and you guys got to see how good this looks and it makes it a, a worthwhile investment. So uh, without further ado, we're going to be starting up grid and just pay attention to how fast this stuff loads up. As you can see, just like any other console or PC game, it's loading straight in and, <laughs> and we're off to the races, just like that. There you go. And then you can kind of just jump right in and do what you got to do. As you can see, it's just blazing through. Uh, I'm, 
and you can see just how quick it is, how uh, responsive. Uh, if you can hear the controller going, not a not a whole lot of lag. There's going to be some input lag, but if you're just doing casual gaming, then it's not that big of a deal. You know, you can kind of just jump in here and and do what you got to do, play. You know, while you're trying to kill some time or whatever, and then you can then you can kind of go from there. And it doesn't look like I have any cars or anything, but <clears throat> and you see, I'm just I'm just playing, I'm just. And you see just a little bit of lag just because I'm on multiplayer. But if this was single player, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But again, you can just get in there and play. And again, this is, you're not using the, the CPU or the GPU. You're just kind of just playing. And I can just tell you right now, uh, utilizing the, the internet connection. I have a pretty good internet connection here. And there is some lag. There is some lag, you know, if you're going to be playing any multiplayer games. But I was playing single player earlier uh, when I was doing some testing. And the lag was dramatically reduced. So this is what you have to look forward to. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. And I'll do my best to get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Without further ado, I'm going to get you guys up out of here. You guys take care of each other. Peace.